Hello class. We are going to continue to look at how to change colors of materials in this um, in this lesson. I sort of did it with going over glass in the last one where I looked at transparency and that was specifically to talk about the theory of glass as well and how we're going to use it in Photoshop. Same thing applies here but just to be clear I figured I'd show another video and show the sort of final model. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to my select button and I can see all my materials and I'm going to come up to say something like my siding here and I'm going to once again go to this edit tab and hit it and I can simply change the color by changing these pull bars. I like to work on HSB. Mine's probably set that way already. If yours isn't, you just click up there and uh, you can set it to RGB, HSB, HLS, whatever you want. And again, since you've sort of thought about color theory and we've gone over color theory in other classes and spent time with renderings thinking about the color, just visually pull up your other renderings. Um, take a look at them and, and, and generally match it by eyeball. You're not going to be able to match it exactly because SketchUp has shadows and renderings on it, um, which might be different than the shadow of some of your other renderings, but you want to sort of match it as, as, as neatly as you can. And so this top bar changes color, this one changes saturation or grayness. So I pull it to the right, it becomes more uh, green, pull it to the left, it becomes less green. And then this is darkness, so all the way black, so on and so forth. And, and, and you can keep doing that to, to set it. I'll, I'm just going to set this green here. That's not the final one I use, but that's how simple it is. And you can then go to uh, select, you can work on the brick, right? You can select the brick and go to edit. I like black brick or really gray brick, so I'm going to take the saturation like all the way down and uh, and make it a little bit darker right and there we go and I, I sort of changed the color of that brick really easily well notice I showed you in a previous video I made two versions of this siding material and that's so I could make it a different color so I could select this go to edit and uh, change the color of this to sort of set the color off you know just by pulling these tabs just go through and you can do it all right and so you got to do that you want to think about the roof you want to think about the trim all the overhangs don't forget to apply the concrete slab and all of these things you want to set it to, to be really nice it's easy to do I know but spend the time to make sure these colors are really nice of course I'm not gonna do that so I'm just gonna boom jump over here and I think this matches pretty well what my illustrator works and if you want to check out my illustrator videos on how to render an illustrator you can you can see that but this is uh, basically matching the colors and you can see all the way around I have materials applied in the background of course is my interior work we talked about that in a previous video um, it won't be needed um, I mean, in a minute but we want to always keep that off to the side even though this is our primary view that we're looking at and that's it you have a we've gone over how to apply materials really simply apply them change the scale change the rotation and change the color change the transparency if need be and you've got a you know a halfway decent model uh, we're going to continue to look at things like how to pick views and how to do shadows and things like that in upcoming videos because that's really the transition between this and going into Photoshop and making a beautiful rendering so we'll see you then